so difficult for the children to obey. We all know that children have minds of their own, don't we? The world sure knows that, and they're trying to steal them away and mold them in their way of thinking. And we cannot compel our children to believe in Jesus. We can't force them. Try as we may. But by our behavior, we can sure make it easier for them. Or we can make it harder. God help us. God help us to make it easy for them to follow us as we follow Christ. Learning to lead. Learning to lead. Learning to lead on Jesus. Finding more power than I've ever dreamed. Learning to lead on Jesus. Finding out how to lean upon Him. Finding out that when we lean upon Him, that impacts them, that influences them, that causes them that in a day of trouble, in a day of struggle, this, if they won't completely depend on you, they're still going to call you. Don't worry about that. They're still going to call somebody. They're still going to ask for help. They're still going to need someone to come alongside them just like we do. I would like to say this morning that I'm 100% depend depending on God, but I am depending on Him, but am I dependent? Has, have we gotten to a place where we should be 100% dependent upon Him? Or is it not true that God turns us back together so that we can be fitly joined together, so that we can be interdependent upon one another, so that when my faith is weak and faltering, your faith might be strong and kind of combine them together and we both win in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Would you stand with me right now? Jesus. Father, my prayer this morning, I pray, Lord, that I have done nothing this morning or said anything that would confuse. But I pray, Lord, that the word that you have given to me is now made plain. It's made manifest to all who would hear your word. That God, even as we read today, that this word was received as a word from you, not just a word from another man, from another preacher, from another teacher. But it has been divinely inspired. Lord, we pray this morning that you would grant that in a hundred years. Lord, I pray this for myself and all those who are here. That my great, great, great grandchildren will rise up and give you thanks. Even though they don't know me, never knew me. But they'll give thanks for our godly example here today. Thank you, Lord, for the influence of many men and women who brought us to Jesus. Can you say amen? Would you write, I just want you right now, would you just thank them, maybe even by name, thank them right now. Maybe you're going to thank them for somebody who's even here in attendance today, or maybe you're going to thank them for somebody else who's in your in your family or in your circle of friends or in your circle of influence, and you've been in their influence, and they've influenced you. And right now, would you just, right now, would you lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, just thank you right now. Speak out their names if you if you feel like you need to or want to. And, and perhaps maybe after a while you might want to write down a letter of uh, thanks to Jesus for them. Lord, may the coming generations walk in your path because we have followed in your ways. And may the road lead us one day, all of us together, to heaven. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Lord, as we say the prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Watch this, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, you've given us fathers and mothers in the earth. Those who have been charged to raise us, our fathers who encourage and comfort us, our mothers who nurture us. Lord, let us be children that obey. And Lord, we thank you that you've given us our daily bread, our provision. We thank you, Lord, that you forgive us of our trespasses, even as we forgive those who trespassed or failed us. If God, you've never failed us. And Lord, we thank you that you've given us examples. You've given us examples that we should follow. Lord, you've given us good ones. You've given us powerful ones. That Lord, forgive us for not being open to follow them. Lord, allowing our circumstances to squelch the, the influence of those who love you and have worked hard to encourage us in the word. Holy Spirit, we pray, Father, that, that the Holy Spirit would come even now to convict us, yes, but also to strengthen us, to come alongside us, to help us realize that God's here for us. Always have been. You always have been. Give you all the glory, honor, and praise. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Come on, somebody.